confused. You not me. Boy, we're having a lot of fun today. Each episode, we hope to answer some of your questions to help improve your carnival glass collecting experience. Boy, you ought to be here. We're just yucking it up. This week, we've enlisted a North Sea fisherman, a shrimp deviner, 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 taking that little thing out of the shrimpy, and a harbor master to help to answer your questions about carnival glass. So without no further ado, let's get started. Tasha, first question. Uh, what, what's this? Where's, where's my fishbowl? What do you mean it's not available? What? No, 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 you can't do this. This is my fishbowl. We've said that in season one, that this is my fishbowl. Not, not their home. This is my fishbowl to get my questions in. No, 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 no. Uh, this is part of my persona. What do you mean I don't have a persona? It's part of my best persona. My, my fishbowl always comes my questions there. Nope, nope, it's not yours anymore. And I'm the boss. We have a contract. You watch that, Boris. Don't let her get at that. Okay, I'll, I'll use this basket for the time being. Okay, first question. First question says, auctioneers sometimes use the term flea bite or pinpoint. What exactly do they mean? Okay, let's see if we can answer that question for you. Very good, very good question. Well, you can bet your bippy that it doesn't have anything to do with Boris's fleas, and Boris does have fleas. My God, is Oh, uh, they like him much better than chomping on hardened pieces of glass. When someone says a piece of carnival glass has a flea bite, they're telling you that there's a small chip, presumably a very, very, very small chip, since a flea isn't very big, except for Boris's legs and pincers and oh, unbelievable. They may call it a pinhead or a pinpoint also, which is, again, a very small chip, again, about the size of a pin. And if you take a look at the end of a of a ballpoint pen, there's a little roller ball on there where the ink comes out. That might be the size we're, th we're talking about here, okay? It could even be a, a tiny little burst bubble. A tiny little bubble on a piece of glass, maybe the, the one part of the bubble that was exposed to the very surface of the glass may have actually cracked or broken and exposing the inside of that bubble. And in that case, probably, um, uh, it could have been one of those little bubblettes that we talked about in a previous episode. Very, very small and leaving a very, very small flea bite or pinpoint, okay? But it's simply their way of telling you that it has a small amount of damage. Small amount of damage. And you need to determine how much it bothers you, whether you want to accept it or not, whether you want to pay for that, okay? So, and there you have it. Hopefully, we've been able to help you with your carnival glass experience. Do we have any comments or questions from our viewers today? Thank you, Tasha. To be using that bowl. Okay, let's see what our comment or question is here. It says, glass. Must be talking about me, I guess. If they would shred your scripts, they would make good fish food. Fish food? I'm trying to get rid of the fish. Why would I need any fish food? And assign Mr. Ping. Mr. Ping, this is what I have for you. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Look, take that, take that, Mr. Ping. Okay. 
So keep those letters and comments coming in. You can send them to me at Dr. Glass at hookedoncarnival.com. You can see them along the bottom of your screen. Also, please run right out and join your local Carnival Glass Club. They're the best place to get hooked on Carnival. For those who live in or near Ohio, think about joining the Millersburg Glass Club. They're a great club and membership is no more than a fish taco dinner at Taco Bell. You can see their website along the bottom of your screen. So that's our show for today. And wave goodbye to the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. oh, God. Did you brush your teeth today? <laughs>